Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Puppeteerier at five. Last time, he defeated the bull and became champion. This time, he is now going to do act five. So now, let's get this whole act started. <gasps> Wait, what? Hold on. <coughs> Get the place started! Uh -huh. A short time ago, in a galaxy far from far away, with the power of Calibris and the might of the four champions, Kutaro had won victory after victory against the vicious Moonbear King. More than half the moon had been freed, and the noose was tightening around the tyrant as his moonstone shards were taken and his advantage slipped away. Kutaro's deeds of daring do had become a beacon of hope, and the beleaguered peoples of the moon were on the brink of rebellion. The flimsy soul of a selfish boy had become the adamantine soul of a hero. Kutaro made the forceps, <laughs> I mean scissors, be with you. Close enough. Kutaro yeah, that and was. Kutaro were winding their way back to the <coughs> wild waste when they got lost in a dense forest. And as dark clouds settled in overhead, our duo found themselves longing more and more for the light of the sun. We're not in Kansas anymore. Wrong movie. Hey, hey, maybe we should, like, turn back. Yeah, I mean, getting lost would be a total bummer. Okay, back to the entrance. And alas, neither one of them had the foggiest idea from whence they came. The uh, foggiest. <laughs> strong enough to wrangle a couple of trees. Look, you've got a moon to save and a sun princess to please. So man up, kiddo! As if he had a choice. The only road was fog, or whatever direction they were facing. So our hero steeled himself and pressed on. The pale blue light of the earth, his only guide. <laughs> So cool. Aimlessly, Kutaro and Picarina Happy birthday to it. It's so cool. Yes, it black sugar it shadows the There's a cliff ahead. Am I on recon again? There's pumpkins and there's plump skins. Wanna light a up? <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Ew! We're going into his mouth. 
Jennifer. Nasty! It's those ghosts again! Oh, DLR! I know it, it's almost your birthday. Yeah, I know. It is going to be pretty interesting. I'm here to sing. Wait, are, we, are you going to sing what? Happy birthday to you. You live in the zoo. You look like a monkey and you smell like one, and you smell like one too. What? Oh my crap, I'm just kidding, you know. All of a sudden, um, you just want to um, copy it from uh, Madagascar. Okay. Well, uh, thank you for singing happy birthday to me. That's, uh, pretty much, you know, the bad stuff. And who said pumpkins were just for smashing? Wow! No, you should sing it to Evil Black. Happy birthday to you! You live in the zoo! You look like a monkey and you smell like one too! Yeah! Halloweenville? Through the moon bear kings, generals come along and did stuff to the local pumpkins. Did stuff? That's right. They made it so snacks sprout all over them. Really? That explains the candy and cookie trees. Oh, I hope you didn't all eat them. Because the townsfolk that did all turned into half the monsters. Just desserts, you might say. <laughs> What was that? Wolves? Ha! To our dogs! General Dog! General He's Dog? Stops us from running for the hills! Come on, Kutaro. Let's whip that puppy and take his moonstone shard. Thank you, Mr. Scarecrow. Even though you don't have a brain. <laughs> <laughs> that was just ownage. Oh, they're out in droves. How are we going to get past them? Maybe we need to move when the fireflies do. Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. <laughs> through the snacker boss's shadow branches. Uh, uh, don't worry, Katara. I've got your back. I know, we're all scared of Halloween, Bill. Like a flaming pumpkin in the dark. No what happens next? Christmas Town? DLR <laughs> That was so brilliant. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> oh my crap, it's jello. Oh, it is so not fair that I can't eat this. So not fair. 